he's in a very pretty old plane that was designed in the 1920s, apparently, by the de Havilland Company. And it's in uh, red, white, and blue, the British uh, national colors. And he is a very, uh, he's a decent fellow, a little bit restrained and a little bit sort of emotionally uptight, a tiny bit stuffy, but also sort of fun with it. And it's rather nice when he gets emotional when uh, Dusty helps him out and saves his life. He isn't terribly friendly with the other competitors, and I, I believe you get this a little bit in some of the worlds where people are very competitive with each other. But he's completely changed by Dusty, because Dusty gives up his position right among the leaders in the race to, to save his life. And uh, that sort of changes him, and suddenly he goes from looking down on this little crop duster to thinking what a splendid human being or plane he is. Of course, when you're recording a voice like this, you have to use a lot of energy. You can't use ordinary kind of speech. You have to project it much more and exaggerate a bit more. But I thought there were some terrific performances. Because what I like about working with Clay is that he's very open to suggestions, but he's also very clear about the starting ideas and what he's looking for. And then what I love about him is he doesn't agonize. 